Okay, so you're excited. You finally moved into that new place you've been hoping for. You've got everything put away, and now it's time to set up your garage. There's only one little problem. All the stuff that you brought with you Okay, so there comes a point when everybody realizes they have a problem. This is my moment. My problem is this space. Really? Ever? Really? So armed with my passion to organize my life, I rush on down to the home improvement store. But I was shocked to see the prices of the individual brackets, not to mention the 10 bucks it costs to buy the track you have to buy in order to use those brackets. Other than the track system, there are two other styles. One is a cantilever and one is a wood rail system that I could use. I want something that is low cost, that is very strong to hold up some heavy equipment and will have minimal impact on the wall itself. And the cantilever system met all three requirements. So the key is we're going to build the wall system directly onto the foundation wall. So you have the sill plate resting on the foundation wall. And instead of applying all of that pressure to the wall itself, possibly damaging the drywall or the two by fours embedded inside, we're gonna let our system rest directly here on the foundation wall bearing that weight. We're also going to counter lever the top of it so that it doesn't fall off the wall on us. earlier you saw as I made the cuts, the small cuts from the larger piece of 2x4, and in each one I've placed a couple of holes in it. The purpose of this is to create basically the, the brackets for the heights that we want each of the cross beams to be at. Now to help out with that I've created a story stick or a rod that's a specific length that we'll use for each one of the posts and that way each bar is perfectly level on the floor. Now earlier, this story stick is what I used to create the waist high bar. Now I want to stagger that a little bit. I've added two more blocks using the story stick for a higher bar, but I want to see if I can shorten the distance for a couple of blocks just in case I'm hanging smaller implements. Okay, 
So we have three posts mounted to the wall. We've got blocks set at various heights. These are going to be braces or arms for our cross beams that we're going to hang our items off of. Now what we need to do is we need to sandwich it up, basically put the front on it so that it looks like one solid post. What I really like most about this design is that the brackets themselves you assemble, you put together, and you use the most basic parts you could possibly find at the Home Depot or any of the box stores. So when you go there, and again, you're looking at $10 brackets for something to hang, to hang one broom that you probably paid eight bucks for. Think about getting an entire kit uh, together and being able to put your entire wall together, all the brackets you need for maybe $20. That's what we're going to show you next. So all of the posts and the cross beams have been made. Now we can customize the height of each of the cross beams for whatever it is we're going to hang on the wall. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set up a couple more of these cross beams. And in a moment, I'll show you how the actual brackets themselves are put together. Be right back.